Yeah. Why is that? Huh? How come? It's being annoying. What's annoying? These people, they don't come here on time. We have things to do. What do we have to do? Well, you know, I want to get over with. What, is, huh? what do you want to get over with? Clean out this place, honey. Put all the things in place. Just go shopping. Go give me my new TV. Oh. You like doing that sewing over there? Yeah. I think Tracy talking about the TV. <laughs> <laughs> My sister wasn't the worst person complaining. Yeah. I was just joking. Uh -uh. I don't care what time they get here. She didn't know I had her taped. <laughs> I caught her by surprise. <laughs> That's not nice. You should have told me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is Bracer. I wonder where the sweet people were going to get here. <laughs> it's not annoying. I'm just happy waiting for them. Alright, this is Bracer's house. Messi, uh, take a look at my house. Uh-huh. Um, didn't have a bath today either. So she's dirty too. I didn't get one yesterday either, just it's between us. Pretty bad. Well, everybody's going to see this, so it's going to be between everybody. Between everybody, not just me, my hermanita bella. All right, now. Yeah, I got to translate that. Today is... I got to put Spanish titles in there because she doesn't understand what I'm saying. Today is the 26th of October 1998 and this is Brisa's messy house because we're waiting for the new carpet installers to come. Now this is her carpet. We could see the stains here in the carpet. Let's get a close-up of it. Holy moly. She's breaking things now. I'm trying to show you. And um, anyway, you can see the carpet, how dirty it is. And so this carpet is going to be replaced today. We're going to get new carpeting here. And the next time you see this carpeting after today, it'll be a different color. And it won't have all these stains and dirt in it. You know what? So right now we're just moving everything around. There's Brace's sewing machine. You saw her in front of that this morning. Mi hermana bella, bellísima que... Puedes ver, bellita, Susi, con el pastel de cumpleaños. Get closer, honey. Get closer. Honey, I've got the zoom on it. I'm okay. right on top of it. Dani, Denise, Dani. Eso solamente vino con el, con el marco. Eso la adorno. Ahí está la fotografía que tomamos en Cuernavaca cuando fuimos al colegio de Susi. Está Susi, Dani y yo. I mean, ¿y tú? Yo ahí, sexy, showing legs. <laughs> it's Susie con su, um, um, Sailor, Navy. No, it's, uh, su traje de marinero. Dan, Danny chupándose el dedo. Susie. Who's that? It's a red dress on showing Danny. her legs. Danny and, her, and half of her cheeks. What is it? Right there, the cheeks. red dress. Yeah, I see it. Where? Um, you see that? Mm -hmm. It's not half of my cheek, it's my leg. Mm -hmm. Y este es Luis y Denise. Y yo cuando era joven y bella, bueno, mi cuadro favorito. Ok. Mis plantas, over here. Uh, este es mi uh, wine rack. Richard has drinking most of it. No. I only have, this was tequila. It was a full bottle tequila. Um, Richard drank all of it. I just have a little splash left over there for my that, margarita. That's a lie. It is not. Every time I drink a margarita, he says, fix me one? And then he says, it's not strong enough, and he goes and pours some more. That's not true. Yo enseñando mi cola ahí. Sexy. Esta es la casa. What are you doing, honey? Here. Oh. My plants, my table, messy house. You gotta come and... I'm going to show how messy my kitchen is. Look at this. But it's going to look so beautiful, you're not going to recognize this. See? My jungle over here. I actually bought this screen. Look at this. Nice. La compré. Es nuevo este. Es para los mosquitos. Este es mi deck. Hot peppers. Um, jalapeños. Bell peppers. Yeah, we saw these last time when we did the garden and everything. Yeah, they were little then. El pasote. 
para caldo de camarones y frijoles negros. Uh, más uh, peppers, bell peppers, pimiento morrón. Esos son jalapeños, no tienen un poco uh, dry porque el, por el um, tiempo frío. Este es mi grill. Voy a tener invitados cuando Mi carro para cortar la yarda, my running lawnmower, my storage, my garden honey that is dead. That's very pretty. Oh, you know what? You want to get my mom before you Ben, Rachel, you want to go get my mom for dinner? They used to be really pretty. Get it white ones now. Oh, ones used to be pretty. Estas también bonitas, son preciosas, eran amarillas como las blancas. Pero el frío ya, ya las ha matado. Estas son nuevas. Estas se llaman gardalias. Richard calls the fire flowers. I never heard of, I never you said that. Like that. I did not. I never heard that. You didn't hear it from me. You start getting that uh, Alzheimer's disease. You don't remember. <laughs> Estas se llaman mums. M-U-M. S. Mums. Y estas las acabo de plantar. So you can use some water there, Brisa. Yeah, what I was I'm talking Spanish because I said I'm in Mexico. My rock used to be pretty. Está muerta por el frío también. Pero unas flores siguen bonitas, siguen muy rosas. Poco sequita por el frío, quemada por el frío. Pero hay unas bonitas como. Como esta, mira. Qué bonita está. Y estas antenas. Jumbo. Oh, I broke it. I guess I'm gonna, it's broken. I'm gonna get the scissors. You gotta get closer over here and get it like this. Honey, I got it right in the close up, right in my face. No, I mean, get it this way. You gotta move coming this way. You can just give me some this one here. I'm gonna cut that one because I just broke it. Have you been picking your face? One, it's broken. Don't say that on the video. <laughs> Like the 
Mm -mm. What we paint and everything? Mm -mm. No. I want to click that um, dead one. Who needs to be on live? Channel 41, Captive A. Hey, what are you doing? What is today's date, Julio? Today is today is, what? is the 26th of what? October. What day of the week is it? It's Monday. Monday. The 26th of October, 1998. Yeah. And I'm at the center of my eyes. <laughs> hey, Dubby. <laughs> What do we got happening out here, Julio? We got a got pretty day, a whole bunch of stuff. Dang. What are you pushing? What's going on over here? We got some. What's going on over here, Julio? The roses are dead. That's very nice because it's cold weather. Dang. Right there, right there, right there, stay right there. Good? Right. Oh. Don't step on my daisy, don't step on my daisy. Well, we are waiting on carpet installers. And the ones we had had to quit on us. Some car problems. <laughs> and um, and this the looks inside like a of the oh, floors shit. are bare. The carpet has been ripped up. And uh, just waiting for someone to come finish the job. And we have contracted to Lowe's. Two eight two two six. <laughs> and this is our furniture. It's just outside waiting for some new installers to come and uh, move around. Um, you don't have anything? I'm calling you. Sorry, I can get a whole cow. Reese's of course. She's upset. Oh. Waiting for some new installers to come and move our furniture and lay our carpet and then move the furniture back inside before it gets um, weather beaten from the cold weather that's going to move in tonight and gets damp from the, uh, from the moisture in the air. Right now it's about 3.10. We had a scheduled appointment at about 10 o'clock this morning and we're waiting for installers that won't be here now until about 5.30. There's Julio. And Julio's from New York with this an attitude. For this. You know that, right? There's Brisa. And there's our install guys working on the car there somewhere. And so we're just waiting. We'll take a walk inside. And we'll show you what's, uh, what we got going on here. There's some of our padding. And there's, uh, there's the floor that's bare that the carpet was taken out. And what's happened, uh, if you saw that blue truck outside, the installers uh, just uh, quit on us because uh, they were having car problems. And uh, of course had our furniture moved outside. And um, concerned about the weather and how it may affect um, the dampness when it begins to cool off this evening, how it may affect uh, some of the furniture and things that we have while we're waiting on another set of installers that Lowe's is calling um, out here to to install uh, some carpet for us. And we've had uh, some problems here with uh, the carpet and with Lowe's um, since the very beginning. We've been waiting about two months for uh, the carpet to come and uh, once it did arrive uh, just a couple of weeks ago it was damaged, had to be sent back and we're told we would have an installation the following Monday, which was last Monday, and then uh, got things scheduled for this Monday, which is the 26th of October, 1998. And again, uh, once the carpet arrived, we did not have the correct padding. We had this padding, as you can see, which is very, very flimsy here, the yellow one here, which my foot is on, and uh, which is not the one we asked for. So we had to um, call back to Lowe's and spoke to George Green, who's been very helpful with us, and he kind of inherited this whole mess, and I uh, feel bad for him. He's done a good job as far as being a good, um, just being good um, to us as an uh, employee of Lowe's, as a manager there, but the whole situation uh, at Lowe's has been real, has been dissatisfactory aside from the help that he has given us. So anyway, he came back out here 
with uh, with Jim Lightfoot, who has a apparently has a very poor attitude and was very angry, and uh, that he had to bring some new uh, padding out here to us. We asked for the correct one, and that was brought out to us, and that's what you're looking at right now. Um, and that's all we have. We've got the padding. We have the carpet on the truck uh, outside. And now we're just waiting for another set of installers to uh, to lay that carpet and padding for us and help move furniture um, that was requested while uh, these other gentlemen are out here with their their truck outside uh, attempting either to get it repaired or to wait for somebody to come in to, um, to help them. They basically have... Uh, have quit on the job because they do have car problems and um, they're waiting now for a taxi to pick them up. I have no idea how long their vehicle will be sitting in the driveway. Um, but we don't want to be rude neighbors and have it towed or anything like that. I, I'm really not sure what to do at this point um, except to be kind and uh, just waiting now for uh, for someone to come pick them up and then I don't know how they're going to have this vehicle removed from uh, on the property here. This is 8323 Campbellwood Court in Charlotte, North Carolina. So that's basically what's happening and uh, we'll just keep you posted as, uh, as things change and as things uh, pick up around here. Okay. Now our camera's working, and we got Brisa's new carpet here. Let me no, find Brisa. There's Brisa. Okay, you gotta take my shoes off now. Just a minute, please. Jump. Okay, this is Brisa's hallway. New carpet in it. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look over here. It's kind of messy. I get Hulu to help straighten up, but he's not helping at all. So we got a mess here. We've got new carpet all over the place here. Mm -hmm, looks real nice. Let's take a look in another room over here. The installer's left at 6 o'clock this morning. The only person that slept was Julio. Huh? I heard my name. What? Everybody else what? was awake. And there's the carpet in the other room. And now we're going to go over here. I'm here. Into the little girl's room. Big boy's room. We've got nice pink walls in here. Yeah, That's the, the color, color he picked. Pick. So. And the carpet looks real good. Okay. And then this is Brisa's room. With her new carpet. Let's get some lights on in here. Okay. Okay. Mm. Julio has a speech problem, so we're going to send him to a speech therapist this week. And there's his braces carpet has a different color. See, he, he's really having a hard time. I think he's got a problem with his tongue. <laughs> so we've recommended a new speech therapist for him. And um, so this is Brace's room. You can see the difference in the color carpet in her room and in the rest of the house. We gave her room a special carpet so she'd have her own little color in her room. And this is the finished product of what the carpet people did. Um, finishing early this morning. And they did a good job. Okay, back in here. Say goodnight to the little girl in here. Say goodnight little girl. Bye loser. See? Loser. He has Tourette syndrome, he can't help it. Hey Rich, should I put away my PlayStation so you're never gonna play me again? Uh-huh. And we'll just go into here. And we'll say goodnight to Brisa. There's Brisa. There's Brisa. There she is. Say goodnight, Brisa. Good night. You like your carpet? Mm -hmm. You thrilled with it? Mm -hmm. Alright, good night. Alrighty. Here we are. And it's beginning to look like Christmas here. 
in Brace's house. And let's see, there's Brisa with her doggies. There's Brisa. And let's look at her doggies. See, she's got doggies on her leg. And everywhere on her sleeve, she has doggies. And now she's running away. All right. Here's a Christmas tree. We got the television on here. And look at all the presents under the tree here. All those presents. Look at them all. Wow. Oh, another present. Look what she got there. Oh. She's talking on the phone. She's wrapping the presents for Christmas. Lots of presents. Okay, let's go find Richard. Oh, there he is. He's right there in the kitchen. There he is. Hey, Rich. It's Christmas time. He's looking for something. We're not sure what he's looking for. Oh, there he goes. Not sure where he went. Let's see if we can find him. Okay, he locked himself in the bathroom. So we'll go back here and find Brisa. Anyway, it's December 22nd, 1998. And once again, it's beginning to look like Christmas here. And we want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. And we'll be back with you probably in a couple of days. And, um, and show you our Christmas here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay, it looks like we forgot to um, show you the stockings that we have here. We have the stockings here. And this one here says Ricardito. That's me, Ricardito. And that's Richard, Richard Jr. That's my son, Richard. Ricardito Jr. And this one here is Brisa. And she has her little Christmas balls over there by her stocking. And this one here is David. David's not here with us yet. And we hope that he's going to be here also. David to spend Christmas with us. And we're just waiting to hear from David. That's my other son. Okay, and over here we have Julio. And Julio is Brisa's roommate, and he's not home right now. And that's Julio stocking. And then back over here, there's Richard. With his old Navy shirt. This is his second day here in Charlotte. Just flew down from New York City yesterday. So wish everybody a Merry Christmas in Mexico, Richard. Merry Christmas. Feliz Okay. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay. Yeah, whatever she said. <laughs> All right. So we'll be back and check with everybody here on Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas. There's Risa. Before my lipstick, I want to make camera before my hair gets messed up. And my lipstick. And, and it's Christmas. So give me when I'm pretty. This is Christmas. Okay. okay, here we go. All right, here we go again. It's Christmas. 1998, <laughs> and there's Brisa with her Santa cap on. 1999. This is 1998, Brisa. Yeah, but I'm 1999. No, 1999 is going to be in January. 
This is Christmas 1998. This is December 24th. My video camera says it's December 25th. But that's going to be tomorrow. And Brisa made pork. How do you say this in Spanish? As, as Richard. Richard, what's the name of this pork? This, how do you call this dish? Fernet? Come here, no one know what I'm eating here. With tea, Fernet? Fernet? How do you say it? He said Bernice? Is he saying Bernice? There's Richard. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Richie. Richard's waiting for me. It's not merry, my, my place is fair. 1998. <laughs> Christmas at Brisa's house. Empty plate. Let's see, where is Julio? Here's Julio. Merry Christmas, Julio. Here's the telephone, but we're not taking any calls because this is Christmas and we're having family time. No girls, no girls. Oh, here we go. It's just one of my girls, you know what I'm saying? Special shout out to my girl. Rich is right here. Rich is filming. There's Brisa, Santa Brisa. What do we have here? We have. Well, we have Bernet, Bernice, Bernice, potatoes, Bernice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look at that well, Christmas. I it right. Look at that Christmas turkey. You can never be a teacher. Look at that Christmas turkey. Is that Christmas turkey? Okay, that's enough, right? For now to start. All right, Christmas pork. And then I put the other one back. And you may want to cover the back before, otherwise it'll dry out. Yeah. I put it cover I mean that part. That bone will dry out if you don't put foil on it when you put it back in the oven. Oh, well. All righty. Over here, we're going to have some sweet potatoes. Candy dams. Mm -hmm. Candy yams. Over here, we have rice. There's the rice in the rice cooker. And we're getting ready to have dinner at the table here in just a few minutes on Christmas Eve, 1998. There's Brisa's fireplace, her little nativity scene there. There's the Christmas tree again with all the presents. Good morning, I'm Colonel Willie Sharp. It's all the presents for Christmas for everybody. My job is to train you how to deal with the mental and physical rigors of working in space so you don't freak out on the asteroid. The United States astronauts train for years. You have 12 days. Do we have any intelligent questions before we get started? What's the next 71? We'll be the first civilians to ever see her. We call them the X-71s. Top secret joint venture with okay, the back into the kitchen again. There's Brisa. And we're going to get ready to eat soon. <laughs> it's recording now. Yep. Yeah. Oh. All right, go film somebody else. It's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. Jingle bells, Santa smells. Probably later. Yeah, but I. There it goes again. You got it back on. Yeah, I got it back on. Wait, what's the wrong with that? I don't know. Can you fix it? Can you take it off? I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know. He's filming. Do you want to show him that? Do you help him? I'm not helping. At least for the picture. I'm not helping. Honey, you never are. Never help. That's a big lie. That's a big lie. Not in charge of cleanup. The two ladies are in charge of cleanup. Hey, you better watch that. 
I'm just here to...